Hey guys, welcome to another little uh, episode here on my channel. Well, I've got my upper control arm, some DJM installed, just kind of just mocked up into place to make sure that they would be uh, able to travel up uh, versus using these ones that somebody welded up high. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Z this frame. Now a lot of people, they'll Z the frame between where the upper control arm mounts and the cab mounts in. Well, the cab mounts we're going to be using are going to be custom made and I'm going to have them brought up further to fit the cab of my 66 Ford down onto this uh, 2001 Ranger chassis. But looking at it, the, where the lower control arms mount on the inside of the frame, there's already a plate welded on both sides, which I'll show you right there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this exact reference point by using that meter there to measure to get it exactly where I want it. So using this here to get my, my point where I want, I'll just move my control arms up out of the way. And then take this, put it on top of the frame, get my exact. Okay. That tells me up there at 30 degrees, that's exactly where I need to make my cuts. So it's easy for me to be able to just easily pull it over here to this side, mark it, guaranteed on both sides it's going to be the same. Even on this side, 30 degrees, it's, it's going to be perfect. So I got my little piece of chalk. Square. I'm using my square to make sure that it's going to be the same on both sides. So, put it right up there to where I'm going to make my cut. Put my mark on the top. Using this that I used to make my mark from earlier, put it right into place. Run my chalk down. That gives me a exact reference point. Exactly where I need to make my cut. I do the same over here. be wondering okay why are you going that far forward with my Z well the front wheel doesn't sit exactly perfect in the fender I had to cut my fenders and move the front part back just to fit the wheel on the better because this chassis is actually a little shorter than a factory uh, 66 wheelbase so by cutting it this way and moving the center forward it'll allow the front wheel to move forward enough that it'll bring it right to where my fender needs to be it to be lined up correctly. Uh, now one side, you're looking right there, the center, bring it to three and a half, that will allow this to move up exactly two inches, which is a pretty good move on uh, bringing it forward. But by bringing it up two inches, it should put me exactly, exactly where I want to be at least that's the plan anyway so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get this thing right here cut move forward and then uh, then I'll show you some more in the video thanks for watching all right uh, 
I've done some figuring on the, the point that I was going to do some measuring. After looking at it, it was going to bring my front end up two inches. And after checking the fender uh, on my 66, it only needed about an inch to be moved forward. So I changed the radius on my Z. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting that out. And right before I make the last cut, I'll secure everything. I've still got my transmission mount in here, so that'll hold my frame from springing out or springing in. And even if it does spring out a little, we got some clamps we can bring it in. I'm gonna go ahead and get that to, that brought in. But uh, to keep people from commenting saying I need hearing protection, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that on. I know the uh, YouTube police, they will definitely say something about not having ear protection on.
line cut. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to finish the other side up, and then as I start to move it, we'll continue the video. Alright guys, so I got it cut all the way through. Um, as you can see, this right here is already set down in the floor. What I'm going to do, I can lower this down with my lift, get it set into place, get it tacked together, check all my measurements, make sure it's correct, same on both sides. Go ahead and burn it in real good and put some supports in. Got it just tacked into place. You can see right there. Just tacked in. And I currently have the the back raised up. So that's the reason why you see the front K member sitting down. But I'm going to make some brackets to go from right here down and just angle it up and support there and one right there on the bottom as well. And then clean her all up. I'm going to go ahead and cut the whole back section off right here because as you can tell, it's kind of somebody else done it and it, it, it just looks terrible. So I'm gonna use that steel right there on the floor. I got some two by four and rebuild the whole rear section of the chassis. 